Hey, 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 guys, how's it going on, everybody? My name is What's Wrong and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new LEGO DC Super Villains video. And today, we've got a big one, both literally and figuratively, because today we're going to be taking a look at all of the big figs in LEGO DC Super Villains. Now, I know what you're wondering what the heck are big figs. And to be honest, if you're asking that question, it's like, are you even a real LEGO fan? But, but, but let's say you don't know. So, if you didn't know, no, they're not that ginormous because this is one of the abilities that Anti-Monitor has is that he can become massive, where even a big fig looks very, very, very tiny in comparison to him, uh, as you saw right there for a second. There we go. So you can see a ginormous difference between the two characters. But big figs are basically characters of this sort of scale, whereas if we compare them to like a regular, typical minifigure size for someone like Aquaman, you'll notice that they're about... I would say about twice as tall and maybe two or three times as bulky overall. So those are going to be all the character types that we're taking a look at today are going to be the bigger characters in the game of LEGO DC Super Villains. Now that, of course, the game has concluded, as far as DLC is concerned, we can take a look at the complete roster. So first and foremost, we have Anti-Monitor himself. Don't forget, guys, at the end of the video, please let me know which one was your favorite design down in the comment section below. Anti-Monitor does have the ability to grow to be even more gigantic enormous than others and the cool thing about him is that he can still fly as this massive massive version of his character like look at this you can legit like just land on top of a building look at this thing it's insane the fact that they let you to still have the ability to fly is kind of bananas considering how absolutely ginormous this character is i mean like look at this thing it looks like king kong on top of these uh, buildings and towers so regardless that is the first of the characters that we're looking at so let's go on ahead and shrink them back down and then move right along to the next character we're going to keep it kind of in an alphabetical order so from there, we maneuver to Atrocitus, uh, the leader of the Red Rage Lantern. Z, I should say. Red Lanterns. And uh, he's a pretty cool character, of course. Uh, he does have the ability to create constructs, which is super duper cool. I think... I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure... Because they don't have Kilowog in the game. At least I don't remember if that he's in this. So I feel like he's the only big fig lantern character that we have in this game. So that's kind of cool, making him very, very unique when compared to most of the other characters. And actually, look at that. There's an atrocitous picture. How appropriate is that? All right. So let's continue onwards and forwards. Uh, in our first row of characters, we also do have Bear Form Beast Boy, who is obviously just a form for Beast Boy, but still, he definitely fits the big fig design so i felt like it'd be appropriate to include him here he does have a super jump ability so he's our first big fig that does not fly and instead can just simply super leap across the map which to be fair is pretty freaking fast so you'll be able around you'll be able to get around just as quickly maybe a little bit slower than the flying characters so from there let's go on ahead and transition to our second row oh no sorry how could i forget i forgot actually maybe we should even start with the smaller scale on both of these characters so we got bane so you saw his transformation back animation then you got beast boy and this is how beast boy can turn into his big fix so that's kind of a cool animation and then this one is just a really cool design like look at this it's just such a cool concept for bane to be able to turn into a big fig and i think it's really cool that he also does have the super leap and it seems like a pretty common trend is that the big figs that cannot fly do have the supercharged jump so they can leap across the map quite quickly allowing them to cover distance just about as quickly as some of the flying characters now of course it's not nearly as convenient because with flying you can fly over water and things like that whereas if you land into water with one of these big figs well you're gonna have to start swimming there's no uh a real other solutions there okay so let's go on ahead and transition to our second row of characters and we're gonna transition to Clayface. And Clayface, similarly to Bane, I was very hopeful that that would be the case, and it seems like it is the case uh, with this particular game. They did go on ahead and um, not just give us a minifig version of Clayface, but they did give us a big fig version. I do kind of wish maybe he would look more like he does in the Lego Batman movie, because that design was crazy cool, where he was all like brick built and stuff. I really sort of was wishing we would get that variation, but regardless, it's cool to have Clayface available in the game, both as a small and as a big fig. And he's one of the rare characters 
that as you can see only has a regular jump it's a very high jump but it's not nearly as crazy as the super jumps that we have seen so far i really also like his ground pound attack it's really cool with the double gauntlets on the arms that looks pretty sick all right so from there let's transition to our next big fig and this is going to be kind of a controversial one because it's it is a big fig but it's a brick built one so maybe people would expect more of this design like the one we see on beast boy and not these ones because these are brick built but i feel like he was appropriately uh, or appropriate to include in here and this is of course cyborg in his mech suit so he can go from minifigure form to then go on ahead and enlarge himself just like so, into the mech suit, which I like. I think it's a pretty decent uh, looking design. I don't know why. There's just some aspects of it that feel a little bit plain, like the chest plate. I feel like it could have been cool if they included some sort more, like maybe even a laser or like a red laser dot there as well. It just feels a little incomplete in parts. So it's definitely not one of my personal favorites in the game. Now, one that is one of my personal favorites is Darkseid, because, of course, he's one of the big villains of the LEGO DC Super Villains video game. Even You could probably make the case that he is the big villain uh, of the game. He's just such a cool design. I love that his idle animation has him, like, floating around, and he's got this very, like, you know, almost like Thanos-like feeling to him he create uh he brings in parademons and then just juggles them around and lasers them out of the way like it, it's just a really 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 cool concept for characters he has some very cool moves like his ground pound attack as you saw there is pretty insanely op looking he does have the laser eye vision and it still does the deflecting that you would expect from uh dark side so i love that i think that that's really really cool touch so again for me this is definitely one of the top five big figs in this game so from there let's go on ahead and transition to our next character which is going to actually take us into our third row of characters and this will be the one and only doomsday now visually i have to say that this is one of the coolest looking designs because they didn't go with the doomsday that we see where like he's got all the spikes all over the torso and everything they kind of went with the half masked one yet or still and i think that it's actually a really cool concept because it, it's kind of like an in-between design and i think he looks so unique and different compared to the other characters that we have seen so it makes him look very unique and very different when compared to everything else that we have seen up until this point he does have a cool charge ability as well and i do believe from what i remember that he does have yep the super leap uh so he can go on ahead and scale across the map quite quickly oh and uh i should also mention doomsday obviously does have the ability to fly so that is available to him now from there let's go on ahead and transition to our next big fig which is going to be another really cool design and that is frankenstein i think this one turned out really 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 cool He's got this very cool animation for his uh, long-range pistol attack. He does have a sword slice as well, as well as a cool ground pound attack with the sword where it generates basically electricity. And just overall, again, one of the more complete looking big figs, because oftentimes one of the complaints I've had and other people have had with the big figs is that they feel sort of boring and very plain like there's almost no details to them that is definitely not the case with frankenstein here you'll see some of those types of characters in due time as well but i just think that this is one of the more the cooler ones in the game i like the hair i like the face uh, print work the two weapons he looks really really cool and very unique when compared to all the other characters from there we transition to the one the only gorilla grad who has a very cool running animation. I think that that's one of the coolest aspects of him. He does have this really cool like chest pound attack where he's pounding his chest as he's charging ahead. So I think that that's a pretty cool uh, design overall. He definitely also fits similarly to like how Frankenstein uh, into the category of a lot of cool details. Like he's got a lot of armor plates and just in general, some very cool designs to him. So Definitely a very, very cool looking character in the form of the one and only Gorilla Grodd. And he also does have this very cool leap ability so he can scale across the map quite easily. All right, so let's transition from there on to the next one, which is going to be actually Granny Goodness. So uh, from Dark Side, we go to Granny Goodness, quite appropriate. Now, I will say that this character is just awesome to actually get the character in Lego form, so I do like that. But she does feel a little bit incomplete. 
<laughs> I never noticed that. Wow. Okay, never mind. I have to take it back. That's too funny. She's got the granny like handbag where they hide candy and stuff. That's too funny. That is actually too, too funny. She's got the uh, candy idol animation. That's pretty hilarious. I never noticed that before uh, for this character. She also spawns in the bag for the ground pound attack, which is pretty cool. And then... Oh, wow. She's got a musical box ability. Wow, that's actually kind of cool, too. I did not know that either. Very cool. Okay, well, I have to say, again, it's a unique character. So for that, you got to give it some credit. The fact that it's not just the same exact abilities that we have seen so far. So we transition to the next row of characters. And as we scroll our way through, we stumble across... Oops, actually. First, we have Calabac, another one of Darkseid's right-hand men. And again, you can see, look at the amount of details on the costume for this one. Well... I don't know what's going on on the back there. That just looks like a misprint or something. That's a very weird glitch because it like breaks up the costume. You see that? That looks very odd. But outside of that, like the front of the character model, the armbands and everything is sculpted really well. He's got this very cool kind of face sculpt that almost looks a little bit like something out of Lord of the Rings. But I really, really do think that this is, again, another great big fig design. You'll see some of the um, ones that I don't particularly agree with here. Uh, shortly uh, in due time. He does have a cool ground pound attack as well. And then let's see, does he have anything for the charge up of the circle attack? He does. So he's got a charge up attack. Cool. All right. So from there, let's transition to Killer Croc, who I will say is not a great big fig because... I don't know. He just does not feel complete. He has exactly that problem of what I was saying before of where a big fig just feels too plain. Like there's just not enough going on. And then the other thing that's very confusing to me about this Killer Croc is the fact that we have the Lego Movie 2 design or sorry, the Lego Batman movie design where he looks awesome and he has like the proper kind of like crocodile head for a face and not just like this weird, more humanoid design. I think it would have been so cool if we got that design in this game instead. So it's just a little confusing, especially because there are better designs of that character, even in the real world, if they released a cooler killer croc with the Lego Batman movie. So that one is just quite a disappointment honestly next up we have another water sort of creature and this is king shark and i will say you could probably make the argument that king shark here is kind of plain looking as well when compared to killer croc it's pretty much the same issue but what i do like is that this one does have the cool shark face so that makes him look a at least a little bit different i think it would have been kind of cool if maybe they would have added some like fins or something like that on the sides um of the um arms as well just to like make it look a little bit more unique or maybe like armor him up a bit more because there's different iterations of king shark so i think it could have been a cooler design it's a bit disappointing as to what we did end up getting wait what okay never mind i might take i might have to take that back guys welcome to the king shark nance hour i take back everything i said is this the greatest big figure we've ever seen it might very well be Okay, so from there, <laughs> we transition onwards and forwards to our next row of characters. So we're going to scroll down here. And our first character in this next row is Mammoth. So this is one of the, I think, Teen Titans villains. This one has a pretty generic ground pound ability. Uh, pretty generic charge ability. And... What he has going for him is the really cool beard and hair and everything design. Outside of that, though, pretty plain looking design. I don't know much about Mammoth, so I can't really get particularly excited about this character even being in the game. But if you're a big fan of the Teen Titans or uh, of the character of Mammoth, I'm sure you were stoked to see this character included in the game. Uh, and I would love to hear your opinions on whether or not they did a good job with this one. And uh, how do you feel uh, they did? Would you have uh, loved to see some other inclusion of some sort of ability for this guy? And if so, what would it be? So from there, let's go on ahead and transition to Martian Manhunter, who I know what you're going to say, but he's a small minifigure. What are you talking about? Well, by holding down his transformation button, he actually turns into his true form and he looks pretty awesome. I do feel like he is lacking a little bit in detail, especially on the arms and legs. Like it just seems a little too plain. I wish there was some more of those like same type of lines and like shading that they have on the torso and the face. It would have been cool if they included the similar kind of um, detail on the actual uh, arms and legs. That way he would look a little bit more complete. He does have a cool laser vision ability and he is one of the fewer uh, big figs that can actually fly around. So for that, he also gets some bonus points. Let's transform back into Martian Manhunter. Uh, it's not 
I guess technically this is still Martian Manhunter, I guess just transform into minifigure form. Uh, so from there, we are going to go on ahead and scroll over to Mongul who actually looks really cool. He's got these very cool silver gauntlets and just again, just a very weird color combination. Like this looks like they were running out of colors for designs for characters. And they were like, yeah, just throw blue, yellow, and pink together. Perfect. It's like, I don't know how this character came together, but it's just one of the more unique looking characters that we see in the entirety of the DC universe. And they did a pretty good job of replicating him in big fig form. So for that, I have to say that he's pretty sweet looking indeed. He does also have the super jump ability or super leap. So that is pretty neat as well. So from there, we transition to the character right next to him, which is Moonsier Mala, who I think is the character that carries the brain around, which is why... You'll notice that that's what's around his shoulder there. So this is almost two characters in one, sort of. And I will say, as cool as Gorilla Grodd is, I almost feel like Muncia Mala is almost cooler because he's got brain on his back. He talks to the brain character, as you saw before. He does have this really cool blaster as well. And it's just this very kind of like, you know, you know that whole concept of guerrilla warfare? Like, this takes that and goes like, oh yeah, let's literally make a character that can be a, a representative of guerrilla warfare. So, that's a really, really cool design. From there, we go on ahead and scroll to the last big fig in this particular row, which is going to be Parasite. I don't know where to start. Who quite possibly has the funniest running animation in the entire game. Because, I mean, like, look at this. He's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I am doing. Swinging your arms everywhere. He's just really, really, really funny. He has this to have this really cool blast effect as well. Uh, and then I think these are just, yeah, just like laser blasts, which seem to almost hurt him more than he's going to hurt somebody with that laser blast. He has the scan ability available. And then I think he's got a super leap available to him as well. So that is definitely pretty neato. All right, let's see who's next. We're going to transition from... Parasite, or in this case, I guess from Gorilla Grodd, and we're going to scroll through. Was there somebody else on this side? I could have sworn there was another character. Oh, I guess not. Okay. I guess I'm mistaken. We had a lot of big figures in this row of characters, though. But in the next row of characters, we transition on to Solomon Grundy, who has a somewhat similar running animation to Parasite, but it is kind of funny to see the two of them side by side running because Solomon Grundy does this thing where like he's swinging his arms forward, whereas Parasite does the sideways like twirl. Uh, he does have, whoa, that's actually kind of a cool move, like a wind up ground pound attack. He also has this tombstone attack with the Batman logo on it. That's a nice touch. And then it's got the Superman logo. It's got the Flash logo. Wait, is it the entire Justice League? We got Flash, Flash again. That's Batman, and that's Superman. Okay, so I think those are the three that he uses. But that's a cool touch. I actually never even noticed that detail. That, again, those are the sorts of details that I love in these games because you see so many cool little aspects uh, as you go on ahead and... Um, continue to, you know, explore the characters and play as them more and more. So this is Salvar here, who is the ruler of Gorilla City, who contends for Gorilla City, I guess, with the one and only Gorilla Grodd. It's actually a really cool design. I like that he's got the spear and that shield on the back looks really cool. I do feel like the logo should have been a bit bigger or maybe even raised because I think that would have looked a lot cooler. But outside of that, a pretty cool design. Again, that's our third Gorilla character in the game, which is super duper awesome to see because that means we get some cool depth of those characters in the game. So we transition to the next row, which we begin with Steppenwolf, who's got this giant flaming axe, which is legitimately pretty epic. He's got a cool ground pound attack with it, and then also he can create a flame blast. Again, one of the cooler looking big figs because he has all those armor pieces. Like, instead of just printing the stuff on his shoulders and the gauntlets, they actually sculpt it on, which I think looks so much cooler. I just wish they did that for the rest of the design. Like, why not have that cool belt buckle actually sculpted instead of just being kind of like painted on there? I think it would look so much cooler in a design with just give much more of a pop to the overall character. Right next to him, we have actually the character known as Stomp, who again, just like I just mentioned with Salvar, has some cool sculpted details like the shoulder pads and then the collar that she has. The helmet's pretty cool. And I think, is she the only... Fe no, she's not the only female big fig because there's Miss Martian, but she's one of the very few... Uh, female big figs in the game. So that's kind of cool to see uh, a big fig female character included as well. So that is pretty neat indeed. Now, from there, we transition to Trigon. 
trying to pick up the pace here, guys, because I didn't realize how long we would go on for. We've got a nice little elbow drop ability. He does have the teleporter ability. So this is another character that I'm sure a lot of Teen Titans fans would love to see because obviously you could team him up with like Raven, for example, and that's a pretty cool team up. Not very likely, but a pretty cool team up. Nevertheless, he does have his patented, very, very terrifying six pairs or sorry, three pairs six eyes that he is known for. So that is very, very, very cool. I do for some reason feel like Trigon though could use like a, um, a staff of some sort. I feel like that would look very, very, very cool for him. And just like Anti-Monitor, you can see that he himself can become absolutely ginormous, even more so than usual. Then we have Ultra Humanite to continue our gorilla character roster. This is Ultra Humanite who looks very cool and very, very unique uh, when compared to the other gorillas because, of course, of his ginormous cranium with the brain design. I think that actually looks really cool. The one thing, again, I wish they would have sculpted the actual like belt pieces and everything like that instead of just printing them on because they just look so flat and there's a result kind of lame in my opinion but outside of that pretty cool design as well so i think that's our last big fig from the main game now we get into big figs in the dlc side of things so as we scroll through i don't think there were any up here so we're good to go our first dlc a big fig was actually etrigan who was part of the justice league dark dlc and i mean look at this costume by the way how cool does he look next to steppenwolf they look like a duo that you would not want to mess with like look at these two they look so epic such cool designs very 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 awesome i love the cape i think Think? You see the first cape character that we see with the big fig? Sorry, with the cape. That kind of makes him sort of unique. He's got this really cool twisting attack, just like uh, Solomon Grundy did. So that's sort of neat. And his ground pound attack is your typical one for big figs where they do the elbow drop, which is a little unfortunate. Next up, we have Swamp Thing, who, in my opinion, looks all right, but could look way, way better if instead of doing, like you see how they did the flowers on this side, on the top of the shoulder? Why not do the same thing for the elbow there and all the vines all over the character? He would look so much cooler in my opinion. I think that would have just been such a cool inclusion. So because of that, I'm not a big fan of this design because it just feels like it could be so much better than what it was. Uh, next up, we have Brian King, which is uh, for sure one of the weirdest looking characters we can see in the game. Uh, it's like a big giant, I guess... Uh, Wow, okay, I didn't even realize that he does a dance like that. Uh, but a big giant brown crab uh, doesn't have all that many details to him, but it's almost like he's so obscure that he's so bad that he's good, if that makes any sense. He does have the claw hands going on, which makes him very cool and unique and different as compared to many of the other characters that we have seen so far. So from there, we transition. And by the way, he was part of the Aquaman DLC pack. Um, next up, we have... Oh, you know what I didn't test? Does this cyborg transform into a big fig i don't think he does no he does not okay cool i just wanted to test that because i never did uh next up we have the one and only ms martian from young justice uh the outsider series and the coolest transformation check this out she turns into the alien for ms martian which i think is one of the coolest looking designs we have seen just because it's so different like she does not even look like some of the other big figs so because of that you do have to give her some credit as being a very very unique looking character when compared to all the others which is super duper awesome and i think it's very cool that they actually included her alien form in the game as well right next to her we have our next big fig which is actually our third to last uh, big fig design and this is black beetle uh, i guess in some way this character is related to blue beetle because he also wears a scarab uh, and that's kind of cool i never knew that this character even existed but i will say this much i now want to find out more about him because i think it's a really really cool design for a character i love that he's got this like purple glow around the booster engines and of course it's just cool to see the blue beetle scarab on a big fig design so i think that that's very very cool to see now I know maybe some people would kind of consider Gluttony a big fig since he doesn't look totally like a minifig. So I don't know. If you want to throw him in here, you could maybe make the argument for that. But I don't think so. I think he should fit in the uh, regular minifigure um, scale characters. Then uh, one of his other deadly sins, however, does fit in here. And this is Wrath, who I think is 
kind of bad. Like, I don't know. I just don't really like this design. It seems very plain. Like, this almost looks like if they just said, like, hey, make a bad guy big fig. And this is kind of what you would get. It just seems very uninspired. He has the running animation that we see on most of the gorilla characters. And I don't know. There's just nothing about him that, like, screams as, like, a unique element. So... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one at all. So let's move right along to our last big fig, which will be Captain Clown. Yes, I would have never imagined that we would get a Captain Clown inside Lego or a Lego video game, especially an official release, maybe as like some sort of a mod or something like that. But as an official release, I don't think I would have ever expected this. But Captain Clown is indeed in the game. He does have a really cool like robotic idle animation. His ground pound attack is pretty cool, actually, with the blue effect. He does have that wind up attack as well. And then, whoa, that's actually pretty neat. Check this out. He's got a very unique attack for his charge up attack. So that's very, very cool. He's got like a giant anchor that he can throw around and he also does have the super leap. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that is all of the big four or sorry, th that those are not that is um, all of the big figs included in this game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Let me know down in the comment section below, which is your favorite design. There's a ton to choose from. If I had to pick just one, I honestly feel like it would probably be either Etrigan. I really, really like the way that that character model looks. I think it looks really sick. I really like the Ms. Martian for how unique it is, the alien form. Like, it's just different compared to all the other characters that we have see uh, and kind of like what we see from Lego Big Figs in general. But I would say for me personally, it would probably be either Etrigan or um, Darkseid because I really, really love most of the elements that they have for that character. So down in the comment section below, I look forward to hear from you lovely folks. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll hopefully see you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.